Hey, it's Eric G. Around the House is sponsored by Baldwin Hardware. For 75 years, Baldwin Hardware has been known for its first class quality and craftsmanship in door and cabinetry hardware. As an alumnus of the Baldwin Hardware Design Council, I can say I have seen the details and quality from design to the finished product. If you're looking for a new style and old world craftsmanship, I can tell you there is only one Baldwin Hardware. Check out what would look great in your home at baldwinhardware.com. It's Around the House. Today we've been talking about my favorite new products out there that you should know about. And none of these are sponsored. These are people I've worked with. I've seen their stuff. Now, this next one's going to shock a few people. Because if you've been paying attention to me over the years, especially on video and stuff, I have worked with Keen Utility Boots for a lot of years. And uh, those guys, great people. I have nothing bad to say about them. But I'm um, switching teams a little bit, guys. And uh, my new favorite boot out there, there is no other boot that I've seen that is made just like they do with Truman Boot Company. And to find out more about them, go to trumanboot.com. Now, these guys make a gorgeous handmade when it comes to remodeling and renovating your home, there is a lot to know, but we've got you covered. This is Around the House. Welcome back to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us today. Hour number two of the radio show and podcast. And uh, I wanted to say, I want to hear from you. If you have any home improvement questions, anything at all, and you want to ask me and get my take on it, Feel free to give us a call, 833-239-4144. That number again is 833-239-4144. If we're not in the studio, don't worry. You can send that over to us, and I will make sure that we call back, and you could end up in a future episode of the show. So we've been talking in the first hour about uh, my favorite products that have been out there for a little while for 2023. And this hour here, I wanted to focus on the newer stuff. Maybe it's not brand new in 2023, but it was something that was new to me or you should know about that we haven't talked about a lot. So the first one here I wanted to talk about is a product that I used on a couple different projects and I'm using on an upcoming project. And this is a brand new decking that is in the US, Millboard by Outlive. And you can go to millboard.com and you know, I'll be the first to tell you that there is a lot of different composite deck companies out there. You know, there's all these different brands, there's the off brands, there's all this stuff going on. These guys are different. And what I mean by different is way different. They have in their collection, these different looks. For instance, uh, Weathered Oak, that it looks like it's out of an old 1800s rail car. This is weathered, beat up. It looks like a barn or a rail car floor. There's bent over nails. And this stuff isn't like stamped out as on a roller like you see the embossing on 95% of the deck board companies out there. This stuff is actually molded and it has this unique polymer resin construction. And so it doesn't deteriorate like wood, of course but it has exceptional slip resistance. And then every board is produced using recycled minerals uh, while containing no natural wood products, which is nice because that's not gonna break down. And uh, that has been some of the problems of some of the other decking products that use a lot of wood. That stuff naturally breaks down even in resins and you have a problem. But these are hand molded deck boards. So they look like this refined hardwood grain. It's just Wow, it's gorgeous. And then the other thing that I love about it is that it has lost head fixing. So when you put down your stainless steel trim screws through it, because it's got this kind of rubber-esque top coat on it, it hides it. So it just goes right around and you lose the screw completely. So there's no need to put plugs in. There's no need to use hidden clip systems. Um... And it's all molded from real oak. And so the weathered oak is great for that. Now they have one for more commercial applications, which is last to grip that is for docks and things like that, that you want it to look good. 
but also have extreme slip resistance, which is nice. And then their their meat and potatoes, which I've used on my steps and then my front stairs up up to the front of the house, is their enhanced grain. And this looks just perfectly replicates the beauty of planed oak. So this is more a refined oak. When you look at it, people go, wow, that is beautiful. Like, how did you get it to stay that looking that nice? Well, it's because it's not real oak. And that's the cool part of that. So they have this deck board itself when you get into it is this fiber reinforced resin mineral filler in the inside. So you can see that it's like fiberglass, but with a kind of like almost like a resin stone core in it, but it cuts really nice and it has really good flexibility to it. But uh, it is absolutely beautiful. And then just when you say, oh, wait, that's all they do. Nope. They have other stuff as well. So they have their cladding, which is what goes on the side of your house. And uh, their board and batten is gorgeous. It is a three-dimensional product. You got to take a look at it. Just go over to millboard.com and take a look at it there. But these guys have been great to work with this year. I love the product and I'm getting ready to put some cladding on an upcoming project that uh, is going to look super cool that I can't wait to show you. So that'll be coming up. But uh, this is cool stuff right here. So check out millboard.com. If you go back on our podcast, uh, we've had some uh, discussions with these guys on the show. And I will be doing stuff showing their new product down here at the Kitchen and Bath Industry Show and the Design and Construction Week. So I'll be down in their booth talking to them coming up here in February of 2024. So we'll be talking more about that. All right, guys. And so that's kind of the first one here. And we're going to keep going through these these new products like that. Second up, and this is something I did on my front door system, Simpson Door, my friends over at Simpson Door. I went with their new pivot door system. And so what a pivot door system is, is instead of having hinges, think of six or eight inches in from the end, there being a top and bottom pin that it pivots on. And so what's cool is, is when the door swings, it pivots at that location, but that other part of the door comes up. So there's actually a little bit of a space in between the door and the jam on that side. And then the other part that looks really cool is that you now have control of how it closes because you can actually change the settings on the door, how far it swings open, how fast it closes. And all those little details, you can actually control it from underneath the door with a little tool. So it's really cool. And then it has a multi-point lock system. So uh, Simpson Door, great company, Simpson Door Company. Go to simpsondoor.com and then look up their pivot door system. But uh, I tell you what, this is great. And uh, they can make them so they're pre-hung, so they're ready to go. And so you can really make a statement with a, you know, basically a monster XL sized door. So my door, I changed it from 36, took out a little window because I have a constant head over the top of that, went it back and uh, you can go as wide as five feet with these doors. So 60 inches and heights up to 10 feet. And uh, the doors are two and a quarter inch thick. And, uh, that's really cool on the exterior ones interior. They can be inch and three quarter or two and a quarter, but, uh, that is such a great system right there. And, um, what I like is the weather strip is on each side of the door and the top of the door has a double brush system and the bottom of the door is sealed with a brush system and, uh, it gives you nice ADA slim aluminum, um, uh, uh sell on it. And I tell you what, um, it is so beautiful. And uh, it is one of those things that was really easy to go in and uh, they came in and helped me out. And actually, if you go over there and take a peek, you can see the picture on simpsondoor.com of my installation. You'll see the no hassle installation part and uh, you'll see it right there. And that is actually my door going in the house, which is pretty cool. So uh, they came out and helped me out and tested it out. So I was one of the first ones out there of this. And it was fun to see all the Simpson guys and hanging out with them and doing all that. So uh, one of my favorite people to work with out there, it's somebody to take a peek at. They're really fun people. So uh, Simpson door, high quality stuff. The doors are gorgeous. The wood is done beautiful. And there is so much to take a look at there, depending on what you want to do. And uh, definitely something to take a peek at. All right, everybody, we got so much more to talk about. Some products you might not have heard of. 
and so much more coming up here after this commercial break. We'll be right back. More around the house just after these important messages. Don't go anywhere. What's up? This is Sticks and Inya. And Satchel from Steel Panther. And you are listening to Around the House with Eric G. Yeah. We love Eric G and you should too. Welcome back to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us today. We've been talking about my favorite new products out there that you should know about. And none of these are sponsored. These are people I've worked with. I've seen their stuff. It is something I'm familiar with. There's no guessing here. These are all things that I use or have used on a project that I went, wow, that is notable for 2023. And I've been keeping track of them all year. And that's what today's episode is. Now, this next one's going to shock a few people. Because if you've been paying attention to me over the years, especially on video and stuff, I have worked with Keen Utility Boots for a lot of years. And uh, those guys, great people. I have nothing bad to say about them. But I'm um, switching teams a little bit, guys. And uh, my new favorite boot out there, and now in fa- in fairness, this is a different class. So this is like, you know, comparing a, a Chevy to a Bentley as far as workwear. But there is no other boot that I've seen that is made just like they do with Truman Boot Company. And to find out more about them, go to trumanboot.com. Now, these guys make a gorgeous, handmade, made in Eugene, Oregon boot. Now, this is the thing. Um, There's a lot of boot companies out there that say, hey, we're assembled here in the United States. And... And yes, that's exactly what that is. You know, uh, nothing against Keen, but those guys, they bring in uppers from other locations. They bring in the sh- the sole from another location and they attach those two and do the final assembly in their factory here in Portland, Oregon. So yes, those are assembled in Oregon. This stuff here at Truman Boot Company, and I did a segment with them with my TV show and absolutely fell in love with them. They have a rack of leather. And they go over and grab that leather out. It goes over on a table. They have a machine that uh, that really, you know, so they don't have waste that goes through and and uh, basically cuts out the plans for the for the boot. And then it is hand sewn, hand cut all the way through the rest of the process. So after that initial cutout, everything is hand done through the rest of the process. We did a whole story on it. It is the most comfortable boot I have put on my foot. And that's before they even break in. So these guys do some great stuff. They are old school. They basically have as far as machinery in there, 19, well, you know, World War II era boot making equipment that has been refurbished, upgraded motors, rebuilt, all set to go. And it is really cool how this is. So uh, I really like Vince Romano. Vince started this company in 2014 after literally spending a few years teaching himself how to make boots. And he really wanted to recreate a pair of his own boots. And then he realized there were so many, you know, there's such a hole in the marketplace. And he said, hey, I'm going to go out and make my own boots. So he started out in Colorado and then came back and said, hey, I'm going to do my my own boots, but I'm going to make them made in the USA. And, you know, which is rare. There's a handful of people that make them in the USA where it's actually made here. And, um, you know, they are one of them. So he moved from Colorado to to uh, Eugene, Oregon, and they literally go through there and they use leathers from, you know, United States, Spain, England, Mexico, Italy, Dominican Republic, wherever they can get the best hides. That's what they work with. And 
Trust me, if they were if it was all available in the U.S., they would get it there. But there's not that many tanneries left around that can do you know consistent levels of you know of stuff. So you now it takes a little bit because you have to uh, order your boots and they've got to make them. But uh, I tell you what, they have got some beautiful stuff. And just go over to Truman Boot Company and take a look over there. And um, you know they really focus on men's boots. And, um, the ones I got, oh my gosh, these things are absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, you'll see them in an upcoming episode. I'll be wearing them on uh, TV and stuff, but, uh, oh, they have these boots that are just beautiful. Mine are actually made out of a bison. So it's got a really cool, um, you know, kind of weird leather texture on the outside. That's just totally awesome. So uh, take a look. There's a lot of different ones out there, and uh, they've got a lot of new stuff coming in, too. And uh, it's just super impressive. These guys are really doing some good stuff. they got a new one that's this uh, black oiled rough out where the rough side of the boot is out. And uh, it looks like the bison ones might be off the website for the moment. They were having some hard time getting bison earlier that was of the quality. So um, you'll start to see that. But, uh, man, I tell you what, great stuff. Pay attention to these guys. They have got some really good stuff. Truman Boot Company. So trumanboot.com. Take a look at those guys. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit of money, you know, they're four to 500 bucks for a pair of boots. But you know something, you're going to get something that's going to last you years and years and years instead of going out and paying a $100 set and throwing them away for four or five years. Just go buy the right ones and enjoy them for a long time. And the cool thing with these is they can be repaired. So if you ruin a sole or something, these are made to be able to go back in and resell them, and they're good as gold. So think about that. The next time you want to buy American, buy these Truman boots. I got to say that. That's who I'm going to be going with more and more and more because they're just good stuff. All right, guys, I know that was a lot about boots, but next up here is a tool that I just got put in my hands a few weeks ago and a game changer for me, made by Fine or Finn, depending on who you talk to. Uh, They're cordless multi-master, and they are the inventor of the multi-tool. And I tell you what, um, I have used the Milwaukee's. I've used the, of course, I've got uh, that. I've used the uh, DeWalt, a lot of the different brands out there. And there is nothing close to the cordless multi-master, whether you're using the 500 AS or the 700 AS, or even the, the smaller entry level one, which is the 300. I tell you what, it is not close on how this is. And I have to say this from personal experience, because the one thing about these is the vibration. When I'm using every other tool out there, nobody has vibration under control except for fine. Now, there might be a tool out there I haven't used, but out of the big American ones that you see here and you walk into your home centers, guess what? These are the only guys that have it in there. And uh, it's an 18 volt and the anti-vibration technology is great. And that 18 volt, they're actually sharing that with Bosch. So it's a Bosch battery system that works with these guys. So I love that. Brushless technology, um, safety cell technology. So it's not going to hurt a battery. And then the Starlock Plus and the Starlock, uh, Starlock Max is how the blades connect. And those will snap on and snap off without you having to touch the blade itself. So no screws, none of that. Use the lift the hand lever handle on the top, put it in there, and you don't have to touch a hot blade, which is awesome. And if you have the other blade sitting there, you can snap it on without doing it. And they even have a vacuum attachment for it, which is awesome. And I tell you what, after using the 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 blades from Fine, I am not using another blade system. I have not found a better blade than that. And uh, I've got a bunch of the cheapy ones, and uh, never again. Will I be going with cheap blades because these things last so much longer? It's worth the price. All right, we come back. We got so much more on new tools and new stuff just as soon as Around the House returns. Don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Ron Keel, the Metal Cowboy from Keel, the Ron Keel Band and Steeler. We are rocking around the house with Eric G. Raise your fist. Welcome back to the Around the House show, where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us today. I've been talking about my favorite products here for 2023, and these are the new ones out there. Maybe they're not brand spanking new, but they're just a few years old, and these are the guys that are really 
looking ahead to a bright future that I've run into. And they are really, really good companies that I've worked with. And so these are my great experiences with people, all tried and true from my my end. And if they weren't flawless, they wouldn't be here on my list from my experience. Now, uh, before we get into that list, hey, if you have any home improvement questions, give us a call. That number again is 833-239-4144. That's 833-239-4144. Saving your phone. You got a home improvement question 24-7. Give us a call and I will give you a call back and you might end up in a future episode of the show. Well, my next one up here is somebody that is taking over irrigation. And you're like, ah, that's, I mean, this isn't a gift guide, but this is my favorite products and favorite companies. Irrigreen is an amazing company out there. So when you think of underground, you know, sprinkler systems for your front, your backyard, side yard, whatever, and you're trying to keep the bushes and the grass and everything together, these guys have it dialed in. So instead of designing an underground sprinkler system where you have to run pipe around everywhere and put in 15, 20 heads, my house, I would have needed about 20 heads to go do my backyard where I was going to do it. And I did it in two. Yes, I did it in two. And what it does is it uses inkjet printer technology. So this is kind of the world's first smart sprinkler system. So what you do is you run line pressure all the way out to that sprinkler system. And you run a control cable out there that the computer can turn around and talk to the sprinkler head. And then once you get it all installed and you've kind of got it designed out, you can now sit there and adjust the head via the app on your phone and how far you want the water to go. And you can do all the little points around it. So if you had a a 16 point star that you were trying to sprinkle your water in and maybe it was grass there and you had gravel on the outside that you didn't want to do, this will sit there and put water in all those little places and then you can adjust that as needed right from the touch of your phone. And so this is a revolutionary all digital irrigation system that uses so much less water because now you can put in one sprinkler and control exactly where that goes. And you're not watering areas that you don't need to water to because, well, that can be tough. And then you're only putting in a single trench out to those sprinklers You don't have to go around the perimeter of your yard for sprayers and those kind of things. The issues that you would have with a traditional sprinkler system. So it's really good. It saves you a ton of money on water if you're paying for it. And it is engineered to grow your greenest grass. And so it is designed to put in equal parts of basically water out there. So it's going to, you can have a square yard that you're, that you're sprinkling instead of having to sit there and have spots where you have double coverage, single coverage, and all that stuff. And so that is the problem with a traditional sprinkler system, your conventional sprinkler system. You end up having to water at about 147 to 150% water to get even coverage. And the cool thing is, is with the Irrigreen system, it's just simple, it's elegant, it's beautiful, and you're only putting the water on the grass that's needed. And so really, you can eliminate so many sprinkler heads. And it's crazy. Like, if you go through and take a look at a traditional system, you could have 74 sprinkler heads. But with Irrigreen for a front, back, side, you could do it with five. So you think about the ditches you have to dig the amount of pipe and the design and everything else, it is so much easier to go. So it's better for your lawn, it's better for everything else, and you're only putting water down where you need it. So take a look at it, irrigreen.com. I love these guys. They're super easy to work with. It's a great system. It has worked flawlessly at my house the last few years, actually last few months. It's something you could put in for years, and I tell you what, it is a smart system, and it's easy to put in. So that's the cool part. This is not a, I need high tech stuff to put in. It does all the work for you. So take a look at irrigreen.com. And uh, these guys have really got some great stuff and uh, they can actually plan your system out there as well. So when you look at it, and just to give you an idea, I mean, it's it's a little bit more expensive in theory, but not really if you start p- pricing out all the heads. So if you had a small yard 
that is about 2,000 square feet. You're going to need one head, one cable, one smart controller, and that will save about 421 gallons of water a month, and that starts at about 1,953 bucks to 2,000 bucks. So if you've got a medium-sized yard that covers about 6,000 square feet, that's three heads, three cables, one smart controller, That'll save you about 1,263 gallons of water per month, and that starts at about 2,600 bucks. And the Irigreen Large covers 12,000 square feet, six heads, six cables, one smart controller. That saves about 2,526 gallons of water per month, and that system is 3,658 3, bucks just taken off their website. So take a look at it. It's a great way to go. Anytime that you can do something that's high tech that is better for your lawn, and it's going to save you a ton of money. This is fun stuff. And it could really help you out on creating a uh, water system out there that, uh, especially when you're in areas like California or any place that you have limited water or you have shortage of water, this is a, re and if you still want to have a green lawn, this is going to save you some money and it could pay for itself pretty quickly. So take a look at irigreen, I-R-R-I-G-R-E-E-N.com. All right, next up is one of my favorite tools that I've got this year. And this is the SawStop CTS120A60 Compact Table Saw. So this is a really great job site saw. This is something that's really compact. And here's the specs on this thing. So what I really like about it is it comes with its own stand that folds up really nicely. So it's a 15 amp corded saw. No load RPM is 4,000, 10 inch blade and three and an eighth maximum depth of cut. And, um, and that's at zero and a 45 blade max cut is two and an eighth. And your max rip capacity with the fence is 25 and a half inches. So, uh, and it only weighs 68 pounds, which is nice. But the coolest thing about this whole thing is it has patented saw stop, saw stops patented safety system, which stops that spinning blade on contact with the skin. And so the blade stops in less than five milliseconds and drops below the table, minimizing potentially life-altering injury to a mere scratch. And uh, this is, if you're buying a table saw and it's under a thousand bucks, this is cheaper than what the injury will be when you make a mistake with the other one. So this is the way to go. Uh, saw Stop's a really cool company. They are uh, located by me. In the Pacific Northwest and uh, Dr. Gass, uh, his office is probably 10 minutes from my place here. They, these guys are amazing. This is what every table saw, saw should have on it. This is something that is super safe. And you know something, uh, if you have for the holidays, if you have a woodworker in your life and you're out gift shopping, this probably could be one of the smartest gifts you ever give to someone because this will pretty much guarantee that you're not going to have a saw stop accident. This is the prevention tool for you from getting hurt on a table saw. So great stuff, tried and true methods and uh, quality material. I love this saw. It adjusts really well. It's sturdy. I can throw a sheet of three quarter inch plywood up on it. It doesn't move around and it locks in really well. And uh, you can even test to make sure that the wood is not wet because you can't cut on a saw stop wet wood because it will mistake it for a finger and then you'll be out a new blade and a new cartridge there but you'll be able to start right back up again so take a look at the saw top, saw stop cts 120 a 60 compact table saw it's a great buy and everything you need around the house for doing a project like that where you need a table saw around the house we'll be right back don't go anywhere Welcome back to the Around the House show. This is where we help you get the most out of your home through information and education. Thanks for joining us in our last segment of the hour. 
Now, my next one here is something that I am very, very happy, and it's a project that I'm working on right now for TV, which you'll see in an upcoming episode. And this stuff is really cool. And this is a wood-fired pizza oven. And we're going to be talking about that here as one of my favorite new products coming out here for 2023. Now, no offense to the people out there that have any kind of a gas-powered stainless steel pizza oven. There is nothing like a good pizza. Don't get me wrong. I love them. And nothing against those guys out there that are making those pizza ovens, but I want to go old school. I want to do something that is like how a proper pizza is made. And so I reached out to my friends over at the Firebrick Company, and we teamed up for this project that I'm working on right now. And the Firebrick Company, uh, they are cool. So thefirebrickco.com, based out of Australia. And I tell you what, they have a couple different ones here and I'm going with the precast kit because I want to be able to make it a little bit faster. And the precast kit still has that same dome shape that you get out of a pizza oven that looks like it's brick, but it's going to save me a ton of time of having to set each brick. They have a precast sections that go in. So you set these four panels in together and then you build it up from there, which is really cool. I love how that works. So that's really kind of how this is going to fly. So this is really cool. So the precast oven kit, uh, their P85 is what I'm building. And this is going to give me the ability to do so much as far as cooking with it. So think about this. This is the crazy part of this. Heat up time, 75 minutes to reach 750 degrees and higher. Cool down time, 36 hours from 750 to 160 with the door closed and the fire out. Internal dimensions, 33 and a half inches. It will fit four 10 inch pizzas or three large roasting trays. Now, um, you need some space for it. So it's about a four by four area minimum space required to fit. And the oven weight is 1500 pounds in the crate. So this is not a light little oven. So you are going to build it and permanently mount it. And this is really cool. You know, I mean, I'm looking at this going, man, I can bake so much with this. I can be doing pizzas, calzones, bread, everything else that you would do in a wood-fired pizza oven. And so there's two ways you do this. One, you have to build a stand, and then you have to build the oven on top of it. And so I'm just finishing up the stand right now because later on this week, we're going to be shooting uh, next week here. We're going to be doing the pizza oven for the show, and it's super cool. Now, there's a lot of instructions on this, and it's really not that hard. This is what I would call a medium handy build. But really, they send you the complete kit to do the oven, and then you just have to build your own base. And they give you full YouTube instructions for that. It's a great DIY project, you know, and for a few thousand bucks, you have something that we can stand outside for decades to come. It is just a great way to do this. So if you're looking to really be able to do an old school pizza, check out the Firebrick company, the firebrickco.com. These guys are trick. They're in stock in the USA, so it's really cool. So they're stocked in California, New Jersey, so they can ship out from there. So don't worry. You're not paying for shipping from all the way across the country or out of, out of Australia into here. So uh, these guys are really good. They're easy to talk to if you've got questions. And that's one of the things that I really love to do. So anybody that's that easy to work with, I love it. So if you are interested, though, in doing one of the more traditional brick ones, they have those as well. And that's what's really cool about it. So if you want to do a brick oven kit, you can go through and order one of those. They will ship that out to you. And uh, again, that one takes a lot more time to build, um, about twice as long as what the other kit is. But I tell you what, this is one of those things that you start out with um, basically the calcium silicate board which is heat loss, keeps that from coming through. Then you have pre-cut floor tiles, and then you're going to build the uh, the formwork that goes in there and basically going to start building it out. And what's cool is they have a, a trammel tool that actually helps you 
set the bricks in the right space to get your dome. And so you just keep moving them in, moving them in, moving it in. And that makes the interesting way to do it. You just mount it in there and it keeps you having a really good, perfectly positioned thing. So it's, it's you know, for the oven, it's going to turn out really well. So uh, pre-cut arch. And so they send you all the castable stuff, all the mortar, uh, the pre-cut dome bricks, the flue gallery and the flue, ceramic fire black blanket, the, the render and finishing. They've got it all right there and the uh, oven door as well. So they've got all that stuff all ready to go. So depending on the style you want, they got it for you. So check out the firebrickco.com. All right, guys, the next step is not really home improvement, but it kind of is when you have to run off to the store. And uh, this year for my TV show, one of my sponsors is Chevy Colorado, the new 2023 Colorado. And you know something? At first, I thought, wow, that's a midsize truck. I've run full-size trucks forever. And I was worried about it having not enough power, not enough room. And you know something? I'll be the first to admit that I was completely wrong. I can sit there and put my Summit Dumb trailer behind it. I can put a couple yards of crushed rock in the back of it and go hauling up a hill. And with that engine and transmission combo with the turbos, with the Allison 8 speed, that thing is money. All while getting decent gas mileage. And then my, I've got the LT with the uh, technology package in it. So I've got the drive assist. I've got the the smart, um, I forget what they call it, but basically it's the smart uh, cruise control. It's got all the satellite stuff as far as the radio, the the OnStar, the, the Bose sound system, the sunroof. It has everything that I need in the LT and uh, heated seats, all the cool stuff with it. But I tell you what, this truck is a monster. And, you know, we've always kind of made fun of these midsize trucks. A lot of people have, and I'll be the first to say, if you look at a three-quarter ton 90 Chevy pickup, this thing has more power and more tow capacity than what that thing had in a compact midsize truck. And you know something? When you're backing a trailer in, when you're trying to navigate city streets, get into parking garages, you now have something that you can get in there. Yes, it has a five and a half foot bed on it, but that's okay. You can still, they designed it so the tailgate goes partially down. You can stack eight foot material out the back and tie it down easily. It has more tie down points that you'll ever know. And the gas mileage is solid. So take a look, take a look at the 2023, 2024 Chevy Colorados. They're brand new for this year. They got rid of the diesel. They basically have one engine, but different tuning packages with a lighter duty and a heavy duty. So, of course, they've got the work truck for you guys out there that are just trying to throw an inexpensive truck to a guy out in the field. Or if you want to have something more comfortable from the, uh, you know, the LT like I have that's fully loaded to the Trail Boss or any one of the other ones out there, they've got a bunch of different packages. Take a look at those. Uh, if you're out looking at a truck and you want something to be able to navigate the city with and be able to do some serious work with, that thing is tough. I'm impressed. and. Um, you know, I'm not, they're not paying me a dime to say it. I'm just telling you that was a solid truck and I've put about 4,000 miles on it right now. And those have been some of the best miles in a truck as far as comfortable driving and handling itself when uh, the roads get tough, it does really well. So the hats off to Chevy. It's been a flawless experience for me. No issues, uh, no issues at all with it. So, uh, it is a nice piece of technology and we'll see how it does long-term over the next few years. But, it, uh, that thing can tow anything that I needed to tow. I'm getting lumber. I'm getting all my project stuff, and it will take it. I had a, on the, in the trailer, I had a full pallet of concrete in the back of that thing, and it didn't even know it was back there. So there we go. All right, guys, I'm going to put this list here up on my uh, Facebook. Actually, I'll share it up on Facebook, but I'm going to put it up on the webpage in the blog section there at aroundthehouseonline.com so you can get a printed out version. So just head over to aroundthehouseonline.com. Happy holidays, everybody out there, whether you're celebrating Hanukkah or the last of it and Christmas coming up. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Around the House. We'll see you next Saturday or Wednesday on the podcast. Somewhere unseen and 
It's Eric G from around the house. Are you planning a decking or siding project this year? If you are, you've got to check out my friends at Millboard. Millboard is a completely different kind of composite decking and cladding that enhances outdoor spaces with enduring distinction. Hand molded from the finest oak, it realistically mimics the natural grain and color of premium hardwood. If you're looking for something that doesn't look like plastic and instead real wood, check out millboard.com. Make sure and check out that interview we did just a few weeks back. That's millboard.com.